Korean Quilt. All right, well, we've been expressing some really bad news lately, haven't we, Anna? Yes, we have. But for some reason, I'm laughing. I don't know why. Okay, with all this talk of breaking up and being depressed, we'll need something to say in Korean that is a response to all this horrible news. You said it. So give us an example to start us off, Banana. All right, let's pretend I tell you about my best friend who is really depressed lately. Okay, I could then say, 안 되네요, in response, right? That's awful. Exactly. But there's something really... Really tricky with today's phrase, and that is the time it's used. What do you mean? Well, the use of the phrase 안 됐네요 does in fact mean that's terrible or awful, but it's generally used about someone else when talking to someone. Okay, so let me get this straight. Even though I'm talking to you, I should use 안 됐네요 about someone that you're talking about? Right. Complicated, but it's best that way. Right. My heart, my head is starting to swivel from side to side whoa, already. Whoa, whoa. Okay, How about sure. we get some pronunciation practice? Okay, sounds good. For screw back your head on there, okay. Richard. Okay, first slowly. 안 됐네요. Oh, so that's awful. That's terrible. 안 됐네요. And a little quicker. 안 됐네요. 안 됐네요. Or when you really want to show your sympathy for someone's misfortune or bad situation, you can add 정말. So we get 정말 안 됐네요. That's really awful. Right. 정말 안 됐네요. Right. So try and remember those phrases the next time you want to express your regret or sadness over someone else's bad news or misfortune. And we'll, we'll see you back here next time on KQ, everybody. Bye for now. See you later.